What's up, you guys? It's Noble Creation TV back to you, and today we're just going to talk a little Lions Talk. And I got a chance to watch a lot of the DBE members' videos, and I agree with uh, a lot of what they're saying. And um, I just want to put my own spin and my own twist on um, Detroit Lions. And basically, right now, um, with the Detroit Lions, man, um, we kind of hurt ourselves, man. We put ourselves in this uh, predicament, and we put ourselves in this position. Um, basically, in so many words, we got to win out, and we need help from other teams to be able to get into the playoffs as well because a lot of teams are playing well right now and they have a better record than what we have. So um, as far as uh, what the team is going to do and how they're going to do it to step into the right direction, um, that part they is, is on themselves, man, um, to get better and to do the things that they need to do. Um, yes, we are frustrated as Lions fans because we're tired of it. We're tired of losing every single season, man. Every time having our hopes up high, only to be let down in the end. We're tired of it. And, you know what I'm saying, we want a good product out on the field. And we know that those guys, you know, um, they get paid to do what they do. And all we're doing is just basically just being um, commentators or analysts on the game and what we figure they should do or whatever. You know what I mean? We're just making, we're just stating an opinion. Um, we're not out there playing or anything like that. But the, the case of it is, is that we're tired of losing, man. 24 straight years without a division title. This franchise has lost a lot of games. And you wonder why we lost Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders in their, prize, in, in their prime because they were tired of losing. You know, everybody knows that. That the reason why um, Barry and, and um, Calvin Johnson left before... Um, um, or not left before, started right in their prime. Um, and they, they went away right in their prime. And everybody knows that, that the Lions have been a team, they have not been a very, very great organization as far as winning football games goes, um, is the concern. I'm not talking about anything else but winning football games. And that's the reason why Kelvin didn't want to give up himself anymore because you know, you're putting your body on the line every week not to go anywhere and not to do anything. And his team um, just being mediocre every year is not getting it. We need to get to the next level. We're tired of making it to the first round of the playoffs and losing in the first round of the playoffs. So a lot of frustration from DVE men members and um, people that uh, do videos on the Lions that like the Lions and want to see the Lions win. And even where I'm at, out here where I'm at, um, people um, want the Lions to win, and we all want the Lions to win. But the the nature of the game is that you got to go out and win. Um, and in the last game on Thanksgiving, we did not put ourselves in a position to win. We start off slow in these games. Um, we're not throwing the ball downfield to, to kind of surprise the team. Why not go deep to Kenny Galladay on the first play of the game? Why not do something that's going to razzle-dazzle this team? Um, as far as running back concern, Amir, um, my, con my concern about Amir is just not having a lack of vision to be able to bounce it out when he, when he needs to bounce it out. I'm not saying bounce it out on every single run, but um, when the hole is there, just hitting the hole. As you guys know, I did a video um, about the run game and about, and you were watching, um, you got a chance to watch Reggie Bush hit the hole, and that's all I'm talking about is that we need a running back that's going to hit the hole and help Matthew Stafford out when he's having a bad game because he's not always going to be on top of his game every single game. Um, sometimes you're going to struggle, and that's just part of the beast. That's just part of the game. That's just how it is. You're not going to be out there killing them every week. You would like to, but that just doesn't happen. So a lot of people are frustrated as Lions fans, and me being a Lions fan myself, I'm frustrated as well. I'm tired of seeing the Lions lose. I'm tired of it. Every year, you know what I'm saying, you got to hear other people, you know, mocking you and, and and making fun of your team, you know what I'm saying, because your team doesn't get there and you being the butt of everybody's jokes. But um, hopefully one day, man, they'll get there. Um, we don't know if they're going to make the playoffs um, this year. Um, that's still up in the air. We're going to have to win out, and we need help from um, 
different teams to uh, put us in that position because we kind of, we kind of, the destiny, we don't really hold it in our hands right now. Um, but the only thing that we do hold in our hand is the possibility of trying to win um, the next five games. So a lot of people are frust is frustrated because the Lions are continuing to, to let you down and continually to um, not win the games when it matters the most. And that's what you want from your team. You want the Lions to continue to go out and win games, but it just don't happen. And you needed them to beat Minnesota this game, and that didn't happen. So we didn't get the really we didn't get the tiebreaker that we needed over Minnesota because we kind of needed that um, because we don't have the tiebreaker with Carolina or with the Falcons or with the um, the Saints because they beat us. So we put ourselves we got nobody to blame but ourselves in this game and in this situation. So I just figured I'd just get talk a, talk a little bit about the Lions on today. And basically, right now, we don't hold our destiny in our hand as far as where we're going to the playoffs. But we have to win out, though, to try to get into the playoffs. So um, hopefully, man, they can do that. Hopefully, we can get some help and we'll be able to do the things that we need to do. So I just wanted to talk um, as far as uh, Theo Riddick and things of that nature. Theo Riddick is a good running back. He does what he comes in to do, and that's to catch the ball and be productive when he's out there on third downs or whenever he gets a chance to get out there. But the Lions do need a running back that has vision and can hit the hole. All right, you guys. Um, we just got to get better on defense. We got to get back to that elite level that we were playing at. Um, at the beginning, and we'll be good. We'll be good once once we can get back to that um, that elite level. We'll be cool. Um, but um, we got to win out, and it's going to be tough because we're going to have to win some games on the road, and possibly face Aaron Rodgers um, when he comes back because I think he'll be coming back soon. So um, that's what we're looking at, man. It is what it is. This is this is this is what we did. We did it to ourselves. We got nobody to blame but ourselves if we don't make the playoffs this year 24 straight years of not being able to get a division title is just a shame um i don't know what this team has to do to get over the hump but it doesn't make no sense that the minnesota vikings are winning with a third string running i mean quarterback and we can't even get over the hump with our starting quarterback who's getting paid a lot of money to do what he does but it's not all on matthew stafford it's all on the team performing and the team having a great performance. All right, you guys, this is Noble Creation TV signing out. And uh, just wanted to talk a little Lions talk to you this day, just saying that we do not hold our, our destiny in our hand as far as making it into the playoffs this year. It's basically like we got to win out and we need other teams to help us get to where we need to go. All right, you guys, I'll be back to you soon with another video. Just a little Detroit Lions talk for you today. Peace.